All right, guys. It's been a nice long while. I think the last time I made a legit reptile video was in November of last year. Uh, for those of you wondering how badass these goggles are, they do have space invaders on them, so yes, they are quite badass. But uh, anyway, I don't even know what to talk about. I mean, I haven't made a video in so long. Uh, I guess we'll talk about the room. First of all, all the leopard gecko cages are mounted on something. And, of course, the room is looking a little bit less cramped and a little bit neater. Despite the multiple, like, poop spots on the floor from dogs and whatnot. But that's not the purpose. The purpose is that this room is full of life and poop. Which was once life, but is now poop. Anyway, uh, I don't know. I, I really haven't made a YouTube video in a long time, so I don't really know where to start. But, uh, shoot, man. I guess we'll just go dive head in. Uh, first we've got Captain America, who is currently in shed. There she is. Pretty much still the same stuff. Little black hide and water dish. Uh... I don't really have the calcium dishes in there. I mean, I have honestly never seen any of my leopard geckos actually, like, eat the calcium. She'll she'll step around in it. She will step in it and spread it around her cage. And that's just... She doesn't eat it. So, yeah. But uh, I just calcium dust the crickets whenever I feed her. But uh, she's got a little 10-gallon uh, heat mat that's probably... It covers about most of this side. And then... I just got finished cleaning their cages, so they all need to be waterified and whatnot, whatever. Googly bear poop. Now, uh, this next 10 gallon is the uh, Enigma that I got from Julian that does have Enigma syndrome. There you go. He's a weak little fella, let me tell you that. Uh, oh yeah, right now, Captain America eats, like, five or six crickets a day. And, uh, I'm not exactly sure how you ready them for the breeding process, but concern it, that's what's about to happen. But, uh, pretty much here's Palmer, the Enigma with Enigma Syndrome. He looks really weak, but, uh... I guess he hasn't changed much since I got him. I mean, this this is pretty much exactly what he looked like when I got him. I feed him like three crickets a day, and he literally has not grown at all. It's it's weird, but uh, anyway, water dish and second water dish, and then uh, in here, I don't know if he's already burrowed under the paper towel since I just cleaned the cage, but uh, here's Charmander. Charmander is now in a ten gallon tank. And, uh, little leaf calcium and water. And then he should be right here. Yep. If I can get this hide out. There's Charmander. Little patternless gecko. And I am hoping to breed him with Captain America sometime in the near future. Uh, little 10 gallon right here. Hang on little 10 gallon right here pretty much just for crickets and whatnot and let me get the top oh, goodness sorry let me get the top off real quick if y'all don't mind sitting here watching and waiting commiserating come on Palmer saving Alright, and due to much uh, consideration between Julian and I, we are housing Mac and Geico together. Or I am housing Mac and Geico together. But uh, because of the, spa the fact that they have been sleeping in the same little hut for the past, since I put them together two weeks ago, I'd say that things are going splendidably. Splendidably. Um... That's pretty much it for them, I mean, really, they just 
It's kind of cool. They poop. They actually poop inside of the little blue house. So all their poop is inside of the little blue house. Call it disgusting, but I call it disgusting as well. But it's easier to clean, so. Don't want to crush any of y'all's tails. No, don't climb on Geico. Here, move over. And now I'm going to put Geico in the house. And now you can join. Ah. Now then. Uh, little C, down here, he's going away. Um, uh, I don't really... Honestly, I don't really have the time for him with breeding coming up, and I honestly just don't want him anymore. But, uh... He's, he's just mean, and I don't really have the time to tame him or anything, so, uh... Here's a little C, the carrot tail gecko, with the swastika imprinted with air holes in the top of his cage. But, uh, the gist of this situation is that he's going to be going to a good home soon. Uh, this guy, Warren Beck, uh, was looking for a gecko on Craigslist, so I was like, hey, I'll give you this super hypo tangerine carrot tail leopard gecko wasubity doo we're a smargan resombulist gecko for ten bucks. And he was like, sure, why not? But, uh, oh yeah, I got this little black thing at a uh, garage sale. We went to a church, and uh, they were having a garage sale, and we wouldn't leave, and they kept asking us to leave. So they were like, okay, take whatever you want for free, just leave. So I took this thing, and it's really cool because it holds all them, and it's got all these cabinets. And then you open this thing up right here, and it's just a whole nother storage compartment for reptile supplies and items. So, got this all for free. It was a pretty good deal. Not the animals in the cages, but, uh, let's see, seven minutes. If I remember correctly, the time for YouTube is ten minutes, but, uh, gotta hurry this up. Right now, here's Sylvia. Ball python. She's doing fine. I don't really want to get her out right now. I don't want to disturb her. I'm fixing to feed her. But, uh, pretty much she's just got gr little plants in there, a big bowl, and I don't even remember. that. That's from back when, that's the light that I used for Nugget, the Pac-Man frog, and I just, I turned it off whenever he died, and I guess it still works, so I was like, shit, okay, here you go, Sylvia. And then Jimmy's still alive, 12-year-old bearded dragon here, never once has been on UVB light. Uh, I feed him crickets like once a week, and then I also feed him eggs, scrambled eggs, and lettuce with like squash, zucchini, uh, lettuce obviously, uh, salads is what I meant to say, carrots and apples, and uh, Every, like, once or twice a month, I'll put in, like, an orange or some kind of citrus in there, but we all know it's not good to give Bearded Dragon citrus. Isn't that right, Jimmy? Damn straight. Pound it. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's really it for this room. I mean, I'll have to tell you all about a game that's coming up in the next video that's going to be quite hilarious that's going to be going down this summer. And... Y'all would just have to find out about it. And, uh, there's a bearded dragon in my sister's room, but not gonna go in there. And, uh, just for the record, I'll go into it later, but, uh, the Tegu did pass on, and with that, I'm officially retiring from any big lizard. Any lizard that gets bigger than a frickin' bearded dragon is too big for me from now on. Because, apparently... Parasites love to get onto my large lizards. And I don't even know if it was parasites. Pretty much what went down, let's see if I can tell you this in 40 seconds, but uh, what went down was.